Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twig and this week there's a fill the gaps update that people have been asking for for ages and also we're getting even closer to private games being fully added into the game like I've got access to them now and they're really cool um so yeah let's get into the video. So as always I'll start off by putting the change logs for this week's update on the screen now so you can pause the video and read them if you want. So the new items in the shop this week are uh, the epic ship hat avatar, the rare tiger tail avatar, the rare toilet paper avatar, the epic fabric bunny avatar, the rare snow fox tail avatar and the legendary pirate boy evo avatar. There's also a couple new carts in the hyper races shop and they are the legendary green race car and the legendary blue race car. So this week the Core Wars Push LTM was removed, um, so yeah it was out for a week and I think it was a really fun game to play. It was a really unique concept and I think they made the game really well. So yeah I'm really excited for some like LTMs that might come in the future because yeah there's only been two so far and both of them have been really good. Because um, yeah and I know the Galaxy devs really liked getting a lot of feedback on the um, Core Wars Push LTM to try and make future LTMs really good. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for um, what future LTMs there might be. So right at the top of this week's change logs, it says a lot more behind the scenes work has been done in preparation for private games. So yeah, I think it's really cool that we're now much closer to private games being fully released because I know a lot of people are really excited for private games because yeah, private games, there's just so many different things you can do with them. They're really useful. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really exciting when they fully release. Because, yeah, you've actually been able to play in private games since back in January, so that's quite a long time ago, because that was back when Galaxy first said they were working on private games, and they were testing the private games with helpers, so helpers had access to the private games, and you could play in private games by just getting a helper to create the private game for you. So, yeah, it's given quite a lot of time for the hype around private games to build up, because people are really excited for when they'll be able to just create a private game for their own, instead of having to get a helper to do it for them because um, yeah back in January Galaxy said that they would eventually be releasing the private games for ultra members and influencers so yeah ultra members don't have access to private games yet but influencers were given access to private games this week and I happen to have Galaxy influencer rank so I'll show you some footage of me just creating a private game and scrolling through some of the different options that you get in the private game to show you what it might be like when they're fully released. So um, yeah, to create the private game, it's just in the extra things menu in the hub and you can select which game you want to play. And then in the lobby, uh, each player gets a melon and it's sort of to ready up. So if all the players are readied up, then the game will start, but you do need at least two players in the private game to start. Also, in all of the games where you can vote for a map, so that's all of them apart from Kronos, you can vote for which map you want and you get to choose between all of the different maps instead of just being given a few of them to pick from. To invite people to your private game, you can invite people on your friends list, you can invite people by searching up their username, and you can also share a game code that uses the token thing in the extra things menu. There are also a few other things that the creator of the private game can do and they include making it so that other people in the private game can or can't invite more people and also the creator of the private game can force the game to start even when all of the players haven't readied up. Of course some of the things that I've just shown you might change by the time that the private games are fully released to everyone with ultra membership because the whole reason why they're not released to everyone yet is so that they can like find bugs and stuff and just change things to make it better um but yeah i am really excited for when they're going to be fully released um so yeah so fill the gaps has finally had an update like there hasn't been a big update in fill the gaps for a really long time like i looked back through the change logs to find the last time there was a big update in fill the gaps that just wasn't like a bug fix or anything and um, yeah, I couldn't find anything until back in December. So yeah, that was a really long time since Phil Gaps had an update. Um, but yeah, uh, Phil Gaps update is finally here. So first of all, there's a new map called Zoo and it's got 33 different animal builds to fix. And um, yeah, I think it's a really cool map. It's probably up there with some of my favorite Phil the Gaps maps. 
Um, but yeah, I think it's just a really cool concept that it's just a bunch of different animals and also the fact that there's 33 different animal builds, that's a lot. Like you'll have to play a lot of fill the gaps to get all of them. Um, so yeah, I think it's just really cool. I think the map is just a really good map in general. So in fill the gaps, there's also been a lobby update. Uh, and yeah, I'm not gonna lie, when I first read the change logs and I saw there was lobby update in Fill the Gaps, I was a bit scared because I really like the Fill the Gaps lobby. It's one of my favorite in Galaxite. And yeah, I just didn't want it to be replaced with a new one. Um, but yeah, luckily it hasn't really changed all too much. It's just sort of the middle that has been rearranged a bit. So the leaderboards have been moved a bit and it's also given space for a new shop to be added. Um, so yeah, the items in the Fill the Gaps shop are uh, the legendary breakfast pixel art, the rare lightning pixel art, the rare pizza pixel art, and the uncommon wink taunt. So that's it for this episode of Twig. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and also if you're not already, please subscribe because it really helps me out and it also means you won't miss any future episodes of this series. So yeah, bye.